This time tomorrow, it'll all be over. Fingers crossed. Hey, it took you so long. Sorry, well. Hey, good luck. Right, come on. See ya. You okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, let's go then, eh? Right. You slot this in. I was packing a bag, that's why I took so long. What? If he gets off with it, I'm going. You can't just... All rise. Nah, she said... If the law was a perfect instrument, this case would never have come to court because it wouldn't have been able to escalate in the way that it did. Over the last couple of days, you've heard a list of incidents that, when taken together, form a pattern of stalking, intimidation... You don't need to pack your ...and aggression back. from Mr. Rutherford towards Mr. Richard. To do it again. The tragedy of this case is how inevitable the outcome was. The calculated and vicious acid attack was the culmination of everything that Mr. Rutherford had been doing to Miss Midgley for the past four months. Unfortunately, we can't turn the clock back. But you, the jury, can do the right thing now. You've heard all of the facts. The testimony presented by Miss Midgley and Mr. Connor is extremely compelling and damning for the defendant. And I'm sure when you go back to the jury room to reflect on what you've heard and examine the evidence, you will arrive at the only reasonable verdict. Guilty. This is an emotional case. Feelings are running high. But cool heads and clear minds are what we need in a case like this. It's important that you, the jury, arrive at the correct verdict by not allowing your emotions to get in the way of a forensic analysis of the evidence. Evidence that points to Miss Midgley as a habitual liar, who manipulated her partner into attacking Mr. Rutherford, and then manipulated her ex-partner into doing the same thing. He's going to get off with it, isn't he? You don't know that. She claims Mr. Rutherford stalked her, yet the stalking protection order wasn't granted due to lack of evidence. She claims she wanted him to leave her alone, yet she goaded the defendant into assaulting her and then admitted to telling him that she loved him. The truth is that Miss Midgley and her jealous ex-boyfriend, Mr. Connor, cooked up a plan to seriously hurt Mr. Rutherford using chemicals that can be found in any public house in this country. And as we know, Miss Midgley works in a public house. The same public house where the alleged attack took place. There is a multitude of evidence pointing to Miss Midgley's wrongdoings, but fortunately for her, She's not on trial here. The defendant is. And unless you can be sure, beyond reasonable doubt, that Mr. Rutherford threw the acid, then you simply have to return a verdict of not guilty. Thank you. I'm going to find a hotel, and I will call you and Bertie when it's safe. Stop. 
case of reasonable doubt, they don't have to prove that he did it. Let's just see how it goes, OK? And then we'll figure it out from there. Hey, Shona, can we get two coffees, please? Do you want something to eat? No, I couldn't face it. I don't ask. No. The jury have gone out to... What's it called? Deliberate. Yeah. I couldn't hang about court any longer. I don't blame you. Hey, Max has got his review today, doesn't he? Oh, yeah, David's gone to it. Either Max will get early release or they'll both get locked up. I hope you get the right result. You too. His lawyer really went for me. Whatever happens, you couldn't have done any more. So you do think he'll get off with it? No, I didn't say that. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. It's about Ryan. On the street this morning. Oh, maybe I'm imagining it. But I don't think I am. He looked at you. And you looked away. Is there something I don't know? I was talking to him last night. And he was being really down on himself for not giving evidence and how it all played out in court. So I was trying to G him up, make him feel better. Look, you're going to put me into a state of advanced hypnosis if you don't stop stirring that coffee. <clears throat> you were trying to G him up. And? And he just kept talking about Crystal. How much he likes her, how much he's fallen for her. I think she's the only thing that's keeping him going. I thought that was the point. Yeah, no, it was. It is. So, what, you feel bad about lying to him all this time? That's why you couldn't look at him? I feel awful about it. Maybe it's time to end this crystal thing for good. I, 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 I don't think he's ready for that. He must be doing better. If he's able to stand up in court and give evidence against Justin, I mean, he couldn't do that a month ago, could he? But he just keeps sending me loads of texts. Crystal, loads of texts. You can't keep stringing him along. I know. I know, you're right. I can't keep lying to him. Any news? It'll be a while yet, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna go and get another drink, then we want one. I'll come with you. Oh. About last night, um... The jury's coming back. Well, that was quicker than I expected. Maybe that's a good thing, you think? All rise. Will the foreman please stand? Have you reached a verdict upon which you are all agreed? We have. <laughs> 